In this episode, I am going to talk about how you can send email notification with the file attachment when you are creating a new record in your Dataverse table. This is one of the most common requirement that in most of the project we have. So let's get started and first let's look at the end outcome. So here I am just trying to add a new record. In Dataverse table form, we have a limitation that whenever we have file control over here, then it is something that when you save the record, after that only you can able to upload the file. So let me save this record. As soon as I save the record, I can able to upload the file over here. So now let me upload the file over here. So over here, I am just uploading one of the image file over here and let me just click on save button. As soon as I click on save, I need this file as an email attachment into the email notification. And if we look at the email, I just received this file as an email attachment. So how can we implement this kind of feature over here? So let's have a look. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content related power platform. So here I'm just creating new power automate flow from the scratch and let's use dataverse as a trigger and i need a trigger when a row is added modified or deleted so let's have a look over here in the case of dataverse file can be added only when record is added so at that time the modified trigger will be triggered from here so from here let's select modified so when the row is modified only at that time this flow should trigger and now let's provide the table name so in my case the table name is employees so let's just provide the table name and provide the scope i'm providing this as an organization now after that we need to list that row whatever row is modified i need that full row information so for that let's use same way microsoft dataverse from here and from this action just select get a row by id and over here choose your table and provide the row id and row id is something the about table from that i can easily get that information so here i'm just selecting employee which is my table name that is row id and after that i need to get the file from that particular row so same way select the dataverse over here and from action let's select download a file or an image so let's have a look select the table so same employee table i need to use here select the row id so exact same row id i need to use so let's search for employee name of the table so this is my id and which column you want so it is already providing you that as a suggestion so resume column is something i need because the resume is a file type column in my dataverse table and now i downloaded this file and now i want to send this as an email attachment so send an email this is one of the outlook action which i'm using and over here let's provide the to and cc so i'm just providing my email address so here i added two subject and body content and now we need to provide the attachment file name so in my case resume is the column which is my file data type column so you can see that this is my dataverse table and if i go to the advanced this is the logical name of my column so the expression is looking like this output get a row by id which means this action and then body slash d -shar resume name so this is the exit name that i've just shown you over here so d -shar resume is the name of my logical column so this is the thing which we need to use here d -shar underscore resume and underscore name which the name of the file and let's click on ok so we are getting the file name over here and file content you can easily get from the download of file or image so let's provide this action file or image content and that's it we are done let's save this particular thing over here and now let's taste the record so I'm just creating the new record over here. I cannot attach the attachment at this moment because of that limitation. I'm just storing this record and now the choose file option is available. Let me upload a new file over here. So let me just upload this cover.png file as an attachment and let me just hit save and close. And let's have a look how it will look like in the flow now. And here we are. My flow has been triggered. You can see that it succeeded and let's have a look in the email so this is the new email i received 
and you can see that the attachment has been successfully added over here so that's how you can easily send the email notification with the file attachment when the dataverse record is created or modified hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel looking for any training or consultation the website link is available over here and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and all the other social media handles all the links are available on the channel cover right page over here also don't forget to subscribe my another channel digital thruvin where i'm uploading short content on power platform with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye